the turnout in elections is different according to which elections you are entering. If you look to the national elections, highest turnout was something like 75 up to 80 percent when we were fighting against Mechia, the very you know authoritative politician. So in that time, <coughs> the biggest number of people came to vote. <clears throat> now the number is going down in national elections. It's the highest turnout in national. The number is something like 55, 60, which is not that bad, but it's not good, I, I will say. In local elections, in the municipal elections in Slovakia, especially in Bratislava, the turnout is from 25 to 33. Mm -hmm. and this is what we think is high. I mean, the 25 is low number, but for Bratislava with anonymity and everything, 25 up to 33, according to city districts, because we have divided the city to the, to the part. This is the reality. And when you have regional elections, 10%, 15% turnout. People don't treat regions as important. It's not the land in, in Austrian, mm -hmm. Austrian sense that has not so much power, but region is something resembling the land or the land in your, in your country. But people don't treat this as something which is influencing their life. They know the city is, the government for sure, but this is something in between. So this is the picture from Slovakia. And this is how the people, Slovaks, behave in your country, which, which, is the, which is the reflection of how they treat politics. I can tell you, after 1989, everybody was watching television. Everywhere we discussed the politics. Now the people don't do that. They don't do that in that extent as we did in early 90s. You can remember, Mr. Ambassador, you were part of the, of the transition period, the most important times, and, and it was really something, politics. Now it's, it's ordinary things which many people are not interested in. They have to survive, they have to, they have to bring money for their own families, so many people are occupied by two jobs and things like that. This is what people are doing. It's not easy, easy, but I'm not, you know, saying that this is correct, it's 20% is too low, of course. Regarding the, the central region, I think this is really an important concept. I am attending as a mayor all the political meetings. Tomorrow is another meeting discussing the future of central after 2012, because this year the formal cooperation is ending, the funds are over, and we have to discuss and decide how we will proceed on. I am very much in favor of cooperation among Czech Republic, Austria, uh, Hungary and Slovakia in the region around Bratislava. It's really something where we feel comfortable, we, we prefer this cooperation, and I believe tomorrow the decision will be yes, we will continue. In certain extent we will find a way how to continue because this is important for our city. My relation to Smer, the governing party now in Slovakia, I was trying as an independent candidate, getting my 10,000 signatures petition, because otherwise I can't run as an independent candidate for the mayor. I was trying to get support from right-wing parties and from the Smer before elections. The response was the driving parties formed the coalition and presented their own candidate. And the Smer was saying, we would like to prefer our own party candidate, but at the end they agreed that they will support me. We have good relations because we are colleagues from the government in, in all the times. So I have good relations that this is the only party which officially supported me before elections, politically and a little bit also financially. Regarding the, the signs in Bratislava, Bratislava in the, in the beginning of the 20th century, was the trilingual city. Trilingual means there are, you can hear Hungarian language, German language, and Slovak language. There were disputes if, if Bratislava will become the part of Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. It's not easily solved in Versailles. They decided to do that. But the mixture of population in the territory of Bratislava is Hungarians, Austrians, or Germans, the German speaking people, and Slovaks. The Slovak element wrote. But the old Bratislava, Bratislava citizens are able to speak three languages still. 
it very special dialect, very special words, but still it's resembling German and Hungarian. So your remark is probably correct to bring this back to say, okay, the signs can be also in other languages. Now English is lingua franca in general, but we have so close the big Austrian, I would say, market of tourists, if we are speaking about tourists, that to invite them needs also this, this uh, German language signs and, and whatever. So I'm in favor to do that and we will discuss that in, in this Bratislava Tourist Board. When speaking about airport and cooperation on that, airport in Slovakia belongs to the decision level of government. So it's a state-owned uh, state airport. It's not the case like you have in Vienna that part of the ownership is in, in the hands of the city. The city has no say in that, in the case of Bratislava. But I was surprised when the previous government of Mrs. Radicova as a prime minister decided to lend the, the Bratislava airport to some private owner. To lend it, not to sell, but to lend to become, to invest and to bring to the airport to higher level. I am much more in favor of cooperation of Vienna and Bratislava airport. And I hope that this will be the, the most uh, probably successful idea on both sides. When Slovakia and Austria, and probably if we will be invited, we will present the same, same opinion. This can be profitable. We are so close. And if we will build the railway connection between the airports, which is now the part of Slovakia, and we have the projects, we need the financing from EU, it will be 50 or 45 minutes getting from one airport to the other. This is resembling Frankfurt and Köln in, in Germany when, when they have the common, common airport, I would say, for two cities. We can have something similar with two places. So I believe this concept can be productive and fruitful for both sides. You have decided about not having the third runway. This is what I heard. I don't know if this is true. So, but this is the question. Build a new runway or not? So we can be helpful. I think this can be the, 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 the base of the debate between the governments and, if necessary, between the cities. We are ready for that. If we speak about other projects, there is the question of connection of Vienna and Bratislava by the Schnellstrasse, the speed, speed, uh, speed road S8, S8. The question is if it, if it is ready, when it will be ready. But I know from the federal government of Austria and the government of Slovakia that these projects are being prepared. It will solve for us a lot of, lot of questions with transit transport going to Czech Republic and other directions. So we are very much in favor of, of agreeing of Austrian part and the Slovak part crossing the river, river Moravia and, and then have the connection in different uh, options than, than we have to now. So there are certain projects who are very vital, which are very vital for both sides. There is also the pipeline problem, this, this oil pipeline connecting Austria and Slovakia. This should be discussed on the highest level. We as the city are influenced by the territory, which is, which is next, to, next to the borders. So we always should be a part of the, of the solution. And we are trying to discuss this with our partners in, in Vienna.